Butters. Give me your toy. Three, two, one, go. I got it. 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 Let go. Good girl. Okay, wait. Come on. Come get it. It's over here. See? Too slow. Too slow. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> Too slow. Where is it? <laughs> go, 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 go. Go get it. Okay, okay, you win. Today is going to be an interesting day. We're finally adding another weapon to our arsenal. I got sewing machines, I got vinyl cutters, I got this, I got that, but today is something special and it's something that I want to vlog because this is a completely new journey to starting a brand new business from my apartment, AKA my home. Today is the setup process, so I'm gonna bring you guys along. It's gonna be a vlog day today, but I'm doing everything inside here. We're gonna do some organization. We gotta set up our new machine, which is a Glowforge Pro, by the way. A laser cutter. It cuts lasers! Okay, maybe not. Butters is waiting for her food, so let me go grab her food real quick so she's not mad at me. Wait. Good girl, wait. Good girl, wait. Let me get some off the spoon right here. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, good girl. Enjoy. This machine right here was super expensive, but as I mentioned, this is going to be a new addition to my businesses. I'm doing really well with everything that I have currently, but I would like to get into a different business and diversify my portfolio. So that's why I got this right here. This machine was seven thousand dollars. Whenever I'm purchasing new equipment or anything like that, I just look at it as an investment because this is seriously an investment. I plan to make a lot of money with this. If you do the right things, you have the right plan, you can definitely, bare minimum, make your money back, but that's not the goal. We're not trying to wash, we're not trying to break even, we're trying to make a profitable side business with this right here. So what I'm gonna be doing in this series, I don't even know if I'm naming this one, is I'm just gonna show you guys how everything goes from the product planning, designing, trial and error. My goal with everything is to be 100% transparent and show you every single problem I encounter on this journey because I've done it a few times with a couple other businesses. It's for sure a journey, so if I could take you guys along this one right here, I'm more than happy to, so yeah. We're gonna be setting up this machine today. Hope y'all are ready for this one because I like watching people make money. So let's make some money. So at first, I was gonna set up the machine on this wall right here, but obviously it's filled with sneakers and the laser printer has to vent out of a window, so that leaves me to this area right here. Yesterday I went to Ikea with David. This table is nothing too crazy, but you gotta love Ikea for the simple products that they have. I think this was maybe 50 bucks, the tabletop with the legs. So I'm gonna set that up real quick. So I'm supposed to meet up with someone in about 30 minutes. So I have 30 minutes to put this table together. Y'all have faith in me? I think I can do it. Just like that, we are one step closer to opening up our next shop. The table's all done. This literally took me maybe 15 minutes to do. Super easy. I'm gonna go to lunch real quick and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all, just like that, we are back from lunch and we are ready to get to work. I have a storage shelving thingy, my Bob. I don't know what you wanna call it, but basically I have to move this out because the printer's gonna go right here. I think I might be able to fit this under the desk. I'm gonna try to figure that out. That's where I keep all my sewing materials and stuff like that, so that's why I like having it, you know, close to my machine. So it's just gonna be a little bit of rearranging, and then from there, I'll be able to figure out how I'm gonna put this machine and all that good stuff. Now that we have this table laid out, I could go ahead and shift 
my couch a little bit if I need to, you know, access this area, but this gives me enough space and I'll probably move this over and just make sure that everything connects. But yeah, everything looks super good. Luckily I have an outlet over here. So that's cool. Cause I think the machine needs a dedicated outlet and we're close to the window so we can vent out. They said this is a two person job, but I only got me here. So I think I could do it. This table legit just fits everything perfectly. This is how the machine is looking. It has like, it has liquid inside here. I don't know if you guys could even tell. I'm gonna open this up. There's a camera. We need to remove all these pieces right here, but we gotta be really careful. So let's make sure we don't touch something that we're not supposed to touch. interruption i know you guys haven't seen everything yet but if you guys are interested in taking a look at glowforge and what they have to offer i have a link down below in the description that will get you guys 500 dollars off of your machine that's a lot of money not only does it give you 500 but it gives me 500 dollars to help pay for this machine so every single person that purchases a machine will get their own referral link so you can spread it to your friends so y'all can make money too plain and simple that's it link in bio my logo right there that should be pretty simple the gtrs the r34 r35 they should be a little bit more difficult. The Corgi might be easier for it just cause there's not too much detail. And then I have this old one that I did for my clothing brand when I had that. So we're gonna run this. I ended up getting a bunch of materials. So if we look at everything over here, we have different stuff. We have light plywood, medium draft board, acrylic is in there. But I figured, you know what? Let's just go big for the first one. So we're gonna try this out. Again, this is the first print, so I'm not expecting anything Crazy. I have a feeling that I'm gonna mess this one up, but that's all a part of the learning process, right? So let's go ahead and check this out. All I have to do is put this into the machine and click print and watch it do its thing. Honestly, if this comes out good, I'm gonna be impressed. This is my first time using this program or this website. Everything seemed very simple, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure there's something that I'm missing, but let's go ahead and check it out. Whoa. All the lights just went on, that's pretty sick. Shoot, let's just see how it goes. Turn off noise cancellation. Yo, that was, that was crazy. That was about a 35 minute print, a little, a little bit longer, like 35 and some change. It's pretty loud. Like, I don't even think that the camera can capture how loud it is, but I live in an apartment, so I don't know if my neighbor could hear that. So that's one concern that I have, but do you see how these came out? From what I can tell, it looks amazing. I don't even know if it cut through the entire material, cause I don't even know if this is the right material for it. I just kind of winged it. I wish y'all could smell how the apartment smells right now. It smells like low key, like a campfire. Look at that though. Look at that though. Very clean. Besides that one piece. Let's see how that looks. This thing looks amazing. I ran a couple of tests and I wanted to make something to hold an AirTag. So this was one of the first ones that I made. And then this is the second one. So the first one I encountered a problem with the scale of it. So this was a little bit too big. In my hand, you can see kind of how bulky this is. So I went ahead, designed another one. And this one is a lot smaller, a lot more compact. And I kind of liked how this one was looking. So what I did was I put some LV material, decided to make a strap for it. I'm waiting for the accessories to arrive, but this is how it's looking. So I actually sold these on my website. I sold about 10 of them in the first day and I'm selling these for 45 each. So right there, that's about 450 bucks. Not bad. Hello everyone. I was just about to shower, but I decided 
So do this print first. This is the design that we came up with. This is her dog. It's a Labrador. Yogi Bear's his name, birthday, and that's the day that he passed. And we also added a halo on top of him. And this is one of the biggest projects I've worked on so far. I did the air tags, but that does not compare to this right here. This is gonna be the first print. I'm excited. It's scanning everything right now, and it looks like it's good to go. Please don't catch my place on fire. Please, please, please. Here we go. I just realized I'm a freaking idiot, guys. The handle is in the way of the track, so eventually the track is gonna hit this. So I need to move this. I had to pause the print or cancel the print so there's nothing in the way of the track. Jesus. Since I just moved everything in the Glowforge, I had to realign the artwork and since it already engraved on one part of it, I think that part might end up a little bit darker, but we're just gonna test it. Like I said, this is my first time doing this, so. No, no, it's not centered. Okay, so we got our board all masked up once again. Luckily, the customer's pretty cool and they're not gonna trip about this because it's gonna be resting up against the wall like this or on a, uh, what do you call it? The thing for the fireplace? Uh, mantle? Mantle, is it called a mantle? I don't know, but it's gonna be resting, so this part won't even be showing, but a very, very expensive mistake that we needed to learn as a beginner in this. So what I should have done is I should have just hit the pause button and then rearrange everything without trying to move this too much because once I started moving things, that's where that reprint is not gonna, you know, line up properly. So that is the first lesson. The second lesson, always make sure the tracks don't have anything in the way. Now you guys know, there was my expensive mistake, so now we can start the actual print. Wow, this thing came out amazing. Look at this. Yogi Bear, April 1st, 2011, November. 2021 r.i.p to yogi bear this board came out amazing there were a couple things that i learned from this print as well every single print i feel like i'm gonna learn something until i get everything dialed in but one thing is that i did not crop the artwork so what was happening was the laser had to keep passing through instead of going over the area that it was supposed to print so it took way longer than it was supposed to whole bunch of nerd talk but i basically got this done this took three and a half hours to print in the machine when it shouldn't have taken that long, but now I know because of the trial and errors. I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. So far within the first few days, I was able to make about 450 bucks from the Apple Air Tags. I still have a few that I sold, but I'm not gonna count those yet. And if you're wondering how much I sold this board for right here, this custom board, I sold this for 75 bucks. So 450 plus 75 we are at 525 bucks so far this is within the first few days of doing it it's not bad at all but we for sure have a journey ahead of us anyways you guys i'm gonna end this video right here i do have to edit this and make sure it gets up on time for you guys but if you guys enjoy these kind of videos don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you're brand new to this channel i'm gonna be posting a lot more glowforge content and if you guys are interested in checking out the Glowforge, I have a link down below in the description that will get you guys $500 off of your Glowforge if you decide to purchase one. So that gives you 500 bucks and it also gives me 500 bucks. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna catch y'all very soon for the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. Have a beautiful day. I'm out. Peace.